So after components being in the wrong place or the wrong position, the next most common issue we see has to do with solder joints. There are three main issues we see. I'm gonna go through each of those uh, one by one and how we fix each of them. So let's zoom in. The first issue we're gonna look at here is too much solder. And this is the most common thing we see. So these here, I did to show you the correct amount of solder. So as you can see, it's not very much. It's just enough to cover the pad where these are blobby. That's too much solder. This is really common, especially for beginners to just put too much because you don't have a sense yet of how much you need and it's probably less than you think. So what we're going to do if there's too much solder is take a desoldering pump like this. This is a cheap $5 one just to show you that it can be done with this. And I'm going to heat up the pad completely so it melts and then remove that solder joint. So I'm going to do the next one. Heat it up completely and remove the solder. Now we don't need to remove all the solder, just kind of the blob amount. Uh, and I'm going to reheat this joint and add a tiny bit more solder just to get it all kind of flowed back together there. All right. The next issue that we see is too little solder. That is when the solder joint is not covering the pad completely. So you can see here, you can still see a bit of the, the gold of the pad on the solder joint, uh, under the solder joint. And so all we do here is we just heat up the pad, add a little more solder. So just like the previous one, except we're not pulling any solder off. And that's all there is to that. And then finally, another issue we'll see are cold solder joints. So these joints, you know, it's an okay amount of solder. It's covering the pad completely, but you'll see that the joints are kind of misshapen. They're not perfect little uh, pyramids, perfect little tents. Um, and they're a little bit grayer. Instead of perfectly shiny and silver, they're kind of cloudy and gray. And that's what we call a cold solder joint. So what I'm going to do with these is simply reheat it, give it a few seconds, and then add just the tiniest bit of solder there. And what we're actually doing here is the point is not to add more solder, it's to add flux. Flux is the chemi chemical that's inside uh, flux core solder, which is what we recommend to use. And it cleans the area and helps the joint flow at the moment that it gets hot. So we're really just using the solder to add more flux. Um, so that is how to repair your solder joints. If your build is not working, go through and um, do what I just did. Reheat and add some flux to, to any joints that look blobby or aren't covering the pad completely or look cold.